Madam President. The Republican leader. Yesterday brought reports that carjackings in my hometown of Louisville were up 150 percent since 2019. And the city's 2021 murder total is rapidly closing in on an all-time record that we set just last year. These aren't just local problems, they're national trends. 2020 saw the homicide rate jump more than at any point in over a century. The worst spike in murder rate in more than 100 years. The law enforcement crises don't stop there. Our southern border saw more illegal crossings last year than in any record, any year on record. Yet ICE has made its fewest interior arrests in a decade. A crime epidemic and a border crisis. These are the sorts of problems you might expect the nation's top law enforcement officer to face head on. These are the sort of issues that should keep the Department of Justice up all night long. But, alas, Attorney General Garland has other priorities. The AG made waves this month with a bizarre memo that directed the FBI, along with DOJ's criminal national security and civil rights divisions, to focus, now listen to this, special attention and security on parents, parents who have opinions about their local school boards. Yesterday, under questioning from the Judiciary Committee, the Attorney General seemed absolutely incapable of giving a satisfactory explanation as to why the parents of America are his A1 priority. Nor could he explain why this bizarre guidance came just days, days after a powerful interest group sent a letter demanding this action. Actually, listen to this, the interest group has already apologized for the letter. They say they regret sending it. But the Attorney General won't budge from his shocking guidance, even after the special interests that asked for it have backed away. Apparently, the instant that special interests asked the Biden administration to jump, the Attorney General responds, how high? The Attorney General insisted that all his department is concerned about is, quote, violence and threats of violence. Well, of course, violence and threats are always wrong. They're also already illegal and already the purview of local law enforcement. There's no evidence that America's concerned parents needed to be singled out as targets of this J. Edgar Hoover Act from the Fed. If Democrats at the local, state, and federal levels want fewer parents, concerned parents showing up at school board meetings, the solution is to stop indoctrinating their kids with crazy messages on the taxpayer's dime. Not trying to use federal law enforcement to frighten families out of their First Amendment rights. Now, on a totally different matter, in recent